that, oh, that's going to happen to me. You know, you see those little stories on TV, but you don't. I don't ever think, oh, that's going to happen to me. No. When I went to labor, everything was normal. He was born at 844 in the evening. He immediately was taken from the delivery room, and they said that he was breathing funny. They said that he needed to be shipped to a bigger hospital. When he was three days old, his heart rate went up to 327 beats per minute, and he went into a cardiac arrest, and two cardiologists looked at him at that hospital and could not figure out what was going on. We stayed in the hospital on and off until he was five months old, and then we were referred to Cincinnati. I was so relieved with the diagnosis because we actually knew what it was and knew how to treat it. The diagnosis is a WPW, Wolf-Parkinson's-White syndrome, supraventricular tachycardia, and an enlarged aortic valve. You know, he's the fifth in five boys between us, and um, we know boys. And this one, you know, his... Uh, main activity was to, you know, lie on my chest and watch cartoons or, you know, lie still in his playpen and he, he got with the medication that he was on constantly. He was so sluggish because the medication was designed to keep his heart rate low. It was sad to me because, you know, we know what little boys do and we knew that that wasn't normal. The thing that makes Dr. Nyland special is that he's not only a pediatric cardiologist, He's also an electrophysiologist, and that's what he needed, and it's hard to find one in the country. I think there's, like, only a handful, and as soon as he looked at his EKG, he came back and he said, I know exactly what it is. When we started this whole process, I was devastated. I felt like it was something I did. I was a bad mother. It was horrible. When we come to Cincinnati... And he said, oh, I know what it is. It's WPW. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to fix it. I was just amazed. Not that I want my child to have surgeries, but the fact that we can, and he can grow up to be whatever he wants to be, whether it's a doctor or a lawyer or a football player or soccer or whatever he wants to be. Just knowing that he can do that. I'm happy with two more surgeries. If we have to have four more surgeries, knowing that he's in good hands and knowing that it is going to fix it and he's not going to be that percentage that doesn't survive because he doesn't have the correct care is what makes me 